Totals, welcome everyone. I am the same, sir. And what am I doing? Uh, really, not much when it comes to this STFU truck behind me. Uh, my son and I, you know, we had a plan to try to get this thing done. It's going to take 30 days to be able to do this. But the weather here in Michigan just isn't cooperating with us at all. Here it is. It's the middle of June. It's 60 degrees and it's raining. Yeah, that's what we've been having to deal with. And here I thought, for some reason, that we were going to have a great hot summer and we were to get this thing done. And it's not working out that way. As you can see, we did get one window in. And I'm going to give you a close-up view because we started this and it was a 70 degree day. We were getting our hopes up. It was like uh, beginning of May, uh, into April, May time frame. And, and I thought, wow, this is going to be great. We'll be able to get all these windows in. And that isn't how it works all the time, okay? It was 70 degrees that day and the temperature dropped down to like 37 degrees. And I tried saying it before in the other previous video is that you got to give that caulk enough time to cure. Uh, if you don't, Water gets on it, cold, it just totally just spoils the whole thing. And you can wait days and days and days and it's just going to stay soft. And then what ended up happening? The next following day, it rained. Yeah, I tried covering up the window the best I could, but I'm going to have to take the caulk out and then re-caulk it. Just, it's a mess. So that's what I'm trying to say. If you're going to start a project, uh, try to look at the weather for the next few days and, and don't really try to push it like we did. Uh, because this is a mess that we have to deal with. So I'm going to give you a close-up view of what I'm dealing with right now. Okay, so as you can see, we we put the caulk in and it went on nice and smooth all the way around. But what ended up happening, you can see right here, this top part, you know, that turned out really, really good. And that's great. Well, that water ended up, it rained, okay? So up there it rained and the water ran down the window. And then it got on the inside because water, that's what water does. It gets into everything and it got in the inside uh, window sill in the inside and then it went through the hole and it drained on the, on the inside of this caulk. And so what's happening is that this caulk is still really, really soft. This caulk has been there for probably going on three weeks now. But once it spoils, it's over, it's done. Uh, you got to either cut that all out. It's still soft. It's water in there. It's just coming out. And, uh, you know, there were a couple nice days, but not enough, you know, for us to continue uh, recaulking this or even starting the next window. I mean, this is like just mush still. So that's what I'm trying to say. If you're going to start a job, make sure you look into the future, uh, the next few days. And if it looks like rain, uh, then just stop. But our luck here, we live in Michigan, so... This is what we got to deal with. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you the rest of the videos that I did make as far as uh, putting the exterior LED lights uh, that are up. And also I'm going to show you the uh, inside of wiring the box. So here we go. Let's do this. Okay, I'm working on the uh, exterior lights. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and cut a hole right here. I already have my 14-2 uh, wire that is just on the other side of this. So. There's a little box in here, you remember that. And uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this right now. All right, so I reached, uh, so I reached my 14-2 wire. I can just see it right inside there, which is actually just perfect. So now I'm just gonna put the light up here and then drill some holes. Okay, just like that, one light is done. I'm just gonna do the same to the other side. And I still have my speaker wire that's on the outside here because there's gonna be an outdoor speaker that's gonna be right next to the light on both sides. Okay. got the lights hooked up so I just uh, did a quick uh, you can see right there I did a quick wiring job to my extension cord and looking outside look at that 
LEDs. That is freaking awesome. Okay, getting ready to cut the windows out. And what I'm gonna do from the inside is I'm gonna drill holes on the corners here. And that will tell me, and then I'll go outside and then mark it, and then that'll give me an exact cut of where the window needs to be obviously cut out. So I'm gonna drill them holes right now. Okay, now time to mark the outside. So what we're going to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wire this panel box, okay? So I'm just going to give you a quick overview of what I'm going to do and, and how it's done. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's do a quick rundown. All right, so we got a 20 amp breakers that are here, six of them. I know that the three that are up on top, they go over to the uh, serving side of the window and the three that are coming from the bottom uh, are going to be on this side of the deep fryer uh, side. And I know that each one of these are going to power uh, basically the same on each side as when it comes to the output of power. Again, uh, 110 legs, so these three here run that side, and this one, uh, 110 leg is going to run this side, giving me a total of 220. Yeah, that's a lot of power right there. Here's our common, and then our common is going to be common ground, common ground, all the way down, just as you see. And you want your wires to be, you know, tucked over to the side as best that you can uh, to keep them away from here. Yeah, these right here are going to be hot wires. These black ones are hot wires. That doesn't mean that that common is not a hot wire also, just so you know, okay? Because that can also uh, sometimes shock you. Uh, it may shock you. So I'm not a certified electrician, but I have done this before. So if you are going to do this, I would say that you get a professional to help you out. But this is just me doing this food truck, and this is how I'm doing it. All right, so let's move on, and let's put some... Uh, speakers on the outside of this vehicle right on all right everybody so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put in the 120 watt outdoor marine speaker and if you're wanting to purchase speakers for the outside of your trailer or truck uh, i would recommend these piles okay these run about 60 dollars on ebay and it's a 120 watt so i'll just let you see what that is real quick right there and i went with a white and the reason why you want to have outdoor speakers is because, let's face it, a lot of people want to be entertained and entertaining them with, uh, with a, a neutral music. Okay, when I say neutral, I mean friendly music uh, while people are waiting in line. And I've experienced this with the food trailer that we had. And we, we've also found that when you have music, it keeps people happy, keeps them entertained while they're waiting in line. And they will come to your trailer or your truck over somebody else that does not have music. So 
think about that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut these out. Here we go. Use the inside of the gasket to make your cut out, okay? And then you always wanna be able to take your speaker first and make sure that it's going to be placed right where you want it to be placed. So I'm going to just set that down and I like that about, about two to three inches away from my light and I'm going to just make a mark on, on all four here. So one, two, three, four. And that just lets me know the diameter of the speaker entirely. And then I take my pattern and I just set that in the center to do now just cut that out Bam! And just like that everybody got the lights put on got the speakers put in tried to put a window in but the weather is just not cooperating for me i'm trying i'm trying to put in these windows within the next day or two so stay tuned for part four i know i said that for the previous that i'd be done with these windows now but like i said what am i going to do it rains every other day here and the floods are just out of control so the next video will be the windows and the frp which is that fiberglass board that is smooth that goes on all the walls and on the countertops so stay tuned everybody and remember the only excuse you can make is one that you actually say. Peace out. You gotta have that sound, everybody. Money.